Sí, se me nublaba la vista. Celia Serrano says the este, symptoms were unsettling. Headaches, blurry vision, and dizziness. Doctors told her they were caused by a large aneurysm in her carotid artery. Her vessel wall was bulging like a balloon. The measure at that point around 12 millimeters. Dr. Ricardo Hanel says if Celia's aneurysm ruptured, blood would pool in her brain, causing a hemorrhagic stroke. She could suffer brain damage and even death. Because it was so big, choices for treatment were limited. Dr. Hanel could open up her brain and clip it off in a major surgical procedure. Instead, in a much less invasive procedure, he placed a new device called a flow diverter in her vessels to stop the bulging of blood. What we are doing is putting nothing else than a screen uh, to change or redirect the flow away from the aneurysm. During the procedure, Dr. Hanel inserts a catheter and runs it up to the site of the aneurysm. There, he deploys the flow diverter device. It redirects blood flow. Over the next six months, the entrance to the aneurysm becomes clotted and closed off, creating a new vessel wall. We're just at the beginning of experience with this device, but I expect to see over five, ten years that these aneurysms that were closed at six months, they'll remain closed for the rest of life and they'll never come back. Right now, the flow diverter device is FDA approved for aneurysms 10 millimeters or larger. Dr. Hanel suspects that soon it will be approved for smaller ones as well. Since Celia had the device placed, she's feeling well and happy to be symptom-free. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.